Hello friends, I want to introduce uh, one of the kettlebell clean techniques. Uh, this technique has uh, many advantages. One of them, it uh, allows uh, to keep your elbows close to your body all the time. During the drop phase and during the clean phase, uh, you don't need to lean forward too much with your back. It's easier to do a reg grip and uh, it's easier to make a hand insertion and it's easier to use the physics, the inertia and the pendulum uh, of the moment. So friends, this exercise will start from right position. The elbow is resting on our bones. Our shoulder is relaxed. Forearms are relaxed. And quads are relaxed. In this position, we want to relax our hands and our quads. So after we place the kettlebell in the right position and relax our quads and hands, we are preparing for the first phase, for the first movement, for the first dip. Before we drop the kettlebell down, okay, we want to give the kettlebell a trajectory, so it will not fall down 90 degrees to the floor, and so we can use the pendulum and the momentum. So this is called the first dip. Like in jerk. The most important thing in the drop phase is not to throw the kettlebell forward. So we have to lean forward with our back too much. Instead of this, we drop the kettlebell a little up and slightly forward, not only forward, like that. Up and slightly forward. We never hold the kettlebell tight. Our fingers always are relaxed and kettlebell is lying on our hands in this position. But in the drop phase, we do a reg grip. After we do the first dip, and then we lock out our knees, and then we drop the kettlebell down, there is a reg grip phase where my hand is released from the kettlebell handle and then I catch the kettlebell handle again. I find to myself uh, it's easier for me to catch the handle after a grip in, the, uh, in this corner. It's close to your body and it allows your elbow to be more close to your body. But you can also catch the kettlebell here or here. It depends on you. So, this is a drop phase. Bending knees, straightening knees, throwing kettlebell up and a little forward then regrip kettlebell and then there is a moment of the hand insertion during the clean phase you do it like that you opening your fingers and pushing your hand inside the hand of the kettlebell and then your elbow falls down on your body When you work with two kettlebell, you have to do a hand insertion and to catch handle on handle and hand on hand in the air, like that.
So we do this exercise like that. We stand in red position, our elbow is stuck in our body, quads are relaxed, hands are relaxed. We do the first dip, leaning slightly back with our back, and our elbow is stuck in our body, then straight in our knees. Kettlebell, the impulse from the legs comes through our bones to our elbow, to the kettlebell. Kettlebell flies up and a little forward. We lean back with our body, uh, transferring our body mass center on our heels. And then the hand with kettlebell falls down relaxed. We still a little back. And only when our hand is straight, we bend our knees the second time, straighten our knees, relaxing quads, then bending our knees, doing an imp giving an impulse to our hand, straighten our knees, relaxing quads, and then kettlebells fly up, and we make a hand insertion, catching the handles of the kettlebells in this position, and then our elbows falling down straight to the point, then we will make a jerk or we will make a clean once again.